All right, this uh, video is on David and Betsy Prowl. Now, these two individuals, they, uh, well, Betsy endured the same treatment that I did at the hands of the Boulder Police Department. However, this isn't a poor them video. This is a fuck you video. Fuck you, David, and fuck you, Betsy. And here's why. See, even though they endured the same treatment that I did, they didn't want to coordinate with me. David wanted me to come talk to him in person, not bothering to pay any attention to the fact that if I go to Boulder, I get threatened, harassed, assaulted. Not just by a bunch of fucking crazies, but also by the police. Obviously, the police are doing this. David and Betsy had to deal with it, too. What they chose to do, instead of talking to me like a person, they chose to uh, pretend like they would. They never did. When I called them out on not talking to me, Betsy especially, by the way, they went out of their way to treat me completely like shit. Instead of doing what it is that a human being should do, which is try to hash it out, that's what everybody should have done. Talk to me one on one instead of ganging up on me and making it a control issue. David and Betsy Prowl can kiss my ass. I personally hope both of them get their asses beat repeatedly by the Boulder Police Department. Why? Because they turned a blind eye when it happened to me. When it happened to them, I was on their side. However, the way that I was painted, yeah, nobody wanted to be on my side. My dad could have come forward and told the truth. He could have done that all the way back in January of last year. So could have my mother. But between coming forward to tell the truth and treating me like shit, they chose to treat me like shit. Now... The biggest issue that I have with my dad is that he thinks the same way as Shannon Alvarado. Like they should be replacements for people who are decent. That's not to say Shannon isn't decent, but she can't replace my friends in Colorado. She can't replace my loved ones in Nebraska. And she's abusive as fuck, so I don't want to be around her. She's not the only one, though. My dad's abusive as fuck, too. He's only verbally abusive now, though. That's because he's afraid of dying. That's where me and my dad have a lot of differences. I don't want to exist anymore. The way that I was treated, the way I was painted. And these people want to talk shit on me like I ever did them any wrong. Like fucking hell I did. David Prowl, you're a piece of shit and I never wronged you. You can suck a dick. So can your daughter.